covering a developing story out of California where a 6.4 magnitude earthquake hit this morning. It's the largest quake in 20 years. And the epicenter of the earthquake was about 125 miles northeast of Los Angeles near the town of Ridgecrest. The quake struck right around 1030 this morning. This was the strongest earthquake to hit the area since a 7.1 quake struck in October of 1999. The big quake was preceded by two smaller ones and dozens of aftershocks. Uh, they rattled that area since it happened. Yeah, this earthquake happened in the same area as a 5.4 earthquake back in 1995, which was followed by more than 2,500 aftershocks. Now, due to the location of this quake, the damage so far has been minimal. There's an isolated enough location that uh, that's going to have greatly reduced the damage. At 6.4, this is the largest earthquake recorded in Southern California since 1999. Officials do expect more aftershocks in the coming weeks. Now, some people even reported feeling the quake here in Phoenix, about 350 miles away from where it struck, where the epicenter was. But how do we feel the quake if it was so far away? Well, Team 12's William Pitts and Crystal Henderson explain. The USGS puts out a lot of maps regarding earthquakes. This is the earthquake that hit California. All of these rings right here are the waves going out from the epicenter of the earthquake. This is how far away the earthquake was felt. Now we are way over here in Phoenix, of course, but that doesn't mean that we didn't feel it. We are 350 miles away. That puts us right about here. Now, if you click on that, it shows you that it's about a two on the MMI scale. Now, what is the MMI scale? Basically, it means the earthquake was felt by a few people and delicately suspended objects may swing. Here at 12 News, we saw some of our blinds swing back and forth, and a few of us up on the seventh floor actually felt the earthquake. What did the earthquake look like? It looked like that. That's the Cal State seismometer from the moment the earthquake actually hit. And you can see we're still getting aftershocks continuously since then. This is a live feed of every seismometer in Southern California. You can see those spikes all up and down here. Team 12's Crystal Henderson explains how we could feel a California earthquake all the way in Arizona. So think of a pebble being dropped in a pond. Watch this. It makes a big splash and then it loses intensity as it ripples away. We eventually feel that ripple. And we're going to use our measuring tool taking us all the way to downtown Phoenix. Ah, uh, we'll say somewhere around 350 miles away. Earthquakes don't know roads, mountains, anything in the way. They just, you know, you're going to have this big ripple effect. So you could, so that means places 350 miles to the north felt it. Now we were a ways away from this earthquake, but if you did feel anything, make sure and let us know on our Facebook or Twitter page or on 12news.com. William Pitts, 12 News.